Interesting field. Yeah, an interesting change. So the sweeper has come in from that position, a deep backward square leg on the leg side. He's come into the circle. He's at a deep uh, sort of behind square leg position. And they've taken the gully out. He's come in catching at a short extra cover. And we've got a deep extra cover on the offside. So two men allowed outside the circle for these first 10 overs. ODI regulations, a white ball, 50 overs. The first power play is 10 overs. Second player play from overs, 11 to 40. And then the third player play for the last 10 overs of the game. So two fielders allowed outside the circle. And he's bowled him. Showcats got his man with an absolute beauty. Hits the top of off stump. That's the wicket the home crowd wanted. And what a piece of bowling from the veteran. Yeah, I think he's taken himself away and had a sharp word. He's come back and bowled well at the start of the over. Just nibbled back in. That's what he's known for. And McDonough may be uh, distracted by the change in fields. Uh, a little classic nip backer from the great man, Nazir Shokat. He's one of my favourite cricketers, not just in Leinster cricket, but in world cricket. Love watching him play, love playing against him. And he's shown why he's such an asset to his side, even at the age, the ripe old age of 53. So Louis McDonough, he's got to go. He's gone for 12 from 14 balls. Disappointment for him. But it brings the star man from Phoenix to the crease. Simi Singh moved across from YMCA during the winter season. And added intrigue because at one point he'd already signed for the Hills. But he said to the Hills, that contract's torn up. I'm heading up to Phoenix. Yeah, it was an exciting winter for Simi Singh. Lots of, uh, lots of press releases, lots of uh, excited places, <laughs> excitement about playing in different clubs. But he's done very well for Phoenix. As no one will be very surprised about it. And uh, he'll be the prize wicket now, no doubt. Can you explain to you know perhaps the viewers from overseas? Is he there is a little bit of movement around the Dublin clubs, and it seems like the off season is almost turning into a bit of Sky Sports news. You've got transfers going all over the place, lots of movement. Yeah, the word signing has come into um, the, the vocabulary very recently. So this person signed for this, and this person signed for this other club, and it's it's quite a new thing down south. It happened happened up in Northern Ireland a bit more, a, a bit earlier. But uh, yes, yeah, me saying, and it, the, it has moved from YMCA in uh, Dublin Four to the Phoenix Park. Yeah, Simi Singh, who first came to Dublin, he's playing his cricket in Cabra at the now, unfortunately gone old Belvedere Cricket Club. He a season or two up at Malahide before moving down to Dublin Four in YMCA. And over the winter, he had signed for Phoenix, or he had signed for the Hills. He'd been announced as one of their star signings, but he's here playing against them in the cup final. For Phoenix. And a big appeal, first ball given. Simi Singh, first ball falls. Huge celebrations. Nasir Shokat's got the star man. What a legend he is. The second wicket falls. Exactly what the Hills would have wanted. Nasir Shokat, ball in hand. He's the man for the job. And here we see the replay. Again, gets it to come back in. Traps. Simi Singh in front and he, he didn't take too long to turn around and head back. Yeah, looked a very close shout. It did nip in. I suspe suspect the only decision that Aidan Seaver had to make was was he outside the line or not? Because it was certainly going on to hit the stumps for me, is he? But a very tight call. Yeah, I think it, w it would be much easier to tell from front on, but I think he probably ended up outside the line, got hit just in front. It was a little bit quicker maybe than he thought. Tiny bit quicker than Naz usually bowls. Yeah, we're just seeing a third replay on our screen in front of us. The Hills were absolutely certain that they'd nailed the Phoenix star man. And you can see from the celebrations just how much that wicket means to the Hills. And after a dominant start for Phoenix, they were 31 for none after five. All of a sudden, Nazir Shokat, the star man from the semi-final, is doing it again. He's on a hat-trick. Yeah, it brings... Nicholas Pretorius to the crease, another former Hills player. He did a good job in the semi-final. Not the most fluid uh, innings that he's he's played against uh, that he played against Marion. He scored a, a well-fought 25 or 51 deliveries when when uh, Phoenix were in real trouble. So he's he's quite a free-flowing batsman. Likes the ball wide outside off. He'll try and hit it over and through point there and use the short boundaries. But he he'll have a job to just. Consolidate here. Nazir Shokat on a hat trick. Driven into the offside. He won't have a hat trick, but a good diving stop will keep it to a dot. 
What a piece of bowling from Nazir Shoka. Two wickets and two balls is. Yeah, and a measure of the type of bowler he is. He didn't bring anyone extra in to try and get a hat-trick on a cup final day. It's never really about him. He's a very selfless bowler. Um, as we said, he tries to go for no runs, but he's happy to take wickets when he can. And he's done fantastically so far this over. Beauty, absolutely sensational from the 53-year-old Nazir Shokat. He's nearly had three in and over as he squares Pretorius up and beats him all ends up outside the off stump. Yeah, he's actually played that well, Nicholas Pretorius. He didn't follow the ball. He managed to just get inside the line as it, as it uh, got a little bit more lift than any other deliveries. Here we see the replay. It's about a little bit shorter. Oh, and it's just... So I think if the, if the stumps were another inch or two higher, we might have been heading back to the pavilion. That one went away. <gasps> Bowl him! Three in the over! Showcat's done it again! Sensational from the great man! Three wickets, Phoenix are rattled, and the hills are right on top. Completely set Nicholas Pretorius up there. He's, as you said, the previous delivery had nibbled away. And then it drew uh, Nicholas Pretorius into a false shot, or a false non-shot. He's left that one onto his stumps. Yeah, and you can see it was the off stump that he hit. It's come back in significantly. It was looking like it was in about the sixth stump channel. It came back in, hit the top of off. Shokat's got three in the over, a triple wicket made, and absolutely phenomenal from the veteran. Phoenix, all of a sudden, 31 for three. Opportunity for him. Inside edge, and it's a huge moment in the game, really, is he, isn't it? You know, the, show, the veteran Shokat taking the top off. He's warmed up now. It's only about 11 or 12 degrees. It's very cold. Lots of jackets all throughout the crowd. But he just senses this is a key moment in the game. If he can get Beecroft, Phoenix will be really rattled. I'm... I'm wondering, will Beecroft show the respect that he needs to to Naz here? Does he, has anyone explained to him, you know, quite how the legend of Nazir can get you out? So that'll be, it'll be a very interesting battle. Fuller hit towards the man at mid-off, taken, it's a fourth wicket, he can find that wicket. Beecroft's got to go, just held back in pace a bit, perhaps stuck in the pitch. A very good diving catch at mid-off, that's the fourth wicket to fall. Yeah, classic. He's just been facing Dai Singh from the other end. It's a replay. Just too early on it. A very good catch moving to the right there. A wide mid-off. And that's four wickets for Phoenix. Greg Lamb with, was with the diving catch at mid-off. And what a catch that was. The former Zimbabwean test player. Full-length diving. Beecroft had really shown his potential. Phoenix, moments ago, they were 31 for none. They are now 34 for four. And this Senior League Cup final has turned on its head. Yes, the Hills will be delighted that Nazir Shaikat decided to, to make his way back up to first team cricket. He's taken all four wickets up top. He's showing, showed his experience there. And I think Benjamin Beecroft has possibly shown his own inexperience with just playing an expansive shot. He really hadn't faced much of Naz, so should have maybe taken a bit more time to, to get the pace of the wicket from the slower bowler. Going to be Stephen Black in at number six for Phoenix. And we're right next to the the team changing rooms here. And you could see Beecroft as he walked off. Is he, he was indicating to his teammates that, God, he's doing a lot with the ball. Really wobbled around. And that show cat strength. Four wickets for the 53-year-old inside his fourth over. Absolutely incredible stuff from the veteran. And... Uh, the Hills just getting up and about, and it's a team that you don't want up and about, really, the Hills. They, they just tend to get on a roll, and they really keep going. They don't, they don't let the game get away from them. So testing times for Phoenix, a huge task ahead for these two, Stephen Black and Adam Chester. Yeah, and pressure on young Stephen Black. He's only played one game in this campaign so far. He's away with a single, though, and he'll be pleased just to be down the non-strikers and let his captain, Adam Chester, face up to Shokat. Yeah, and again, I'm, I'm surprised they're not going with a slightly more attacking field now. Just try and get a few more wickets in this spell from uh, Nazir Shaikat. As was indicated from Beecroft there, the ball is nipping around, so why not bring
bring in your mid wicket and try and take an extra wicket or or bring in an, a, a gully instead of third man. Beautifully bowled and an appeal. Paul Reynolds, he is unmoved at square leg. Interestingly, mid wicket was the biggest appeal of the lot. Adam Chester's back foot just did look to twitch for a moment. Uh, I think that was more excitement than anything else. Think thought thought of a fifth uh, thought of a fifth wicket. Here we have the replay. He's just reaching for it, but he must have been well inside his crease because he did drag his foot a little bit. He might be just taking his guard quite deep in the crease there. Nerves for Phoenix's captain, Adam Chester. Walking across his stumps. He looks all at sea to start. Nazir Shokat holds his hand to his head. He can he can sense more wickets. We've seen a lot of that from Naz today. He's missed the outside edge. He's had a lot of chances kind of knock out to hand on top of the four wickets he has taken. So he's, he's very excited maybe to get a fiver or, or beyond. Chester perhaps looking to counteract the movement by getting outside the off stump. Yeah, but with the way that Naz nips it back in, I'm not sure it's the, the smartest play. He is trying to move across his stumps. Given Chester has to go. He puts his hand on his hip. More celebrations for Shokat. Nazir Shokat inside eight overs. He's got a five wicket haul in the cup final. Absolutely sensational. Yeah, that movement across the previous ball set him up. Naz is straightened up here and nipped it back in. It's hit him on the knee roll straight in front of off stump and it was an easy decision for umpire Aiden Seaver. Yeah, Chester trapped right in front of his middle stump. He was all at sea against the movement from Shokat. He has to go. Another duck in the Phoenix card. A third ball duck for him. And we are seeing something very special indeed from Nazir Shokat because he's bowled four overs and he's got five for 13.